actually started when Donna Newton from the Community Foundation invited some manufacturers to listen to a group out of Charlotte called Apprenticeship 2000 that were currently doing youth apprenticeship. I was one of those people in that group and was so excited about what that could offer that I reached out to the Chamber of Commerce in Greensboro and the High Point Chamber of Commerce to see if we could get more companies like myself that were constantly struggling with finding a skilled workforce and to come and hear about Apprenticeship 2000 and what they were doing in Charlotte. Afterwards, we started um, with six founding employers and then grew that to now over 36 in the five-year time span. The GAP program started with just one track. It was for those um, students that might be interested in a job in advanced manufacturing. But soon after that, we knew that we had to expand and enlarge the, the program. So we added HVAC, automotive, logistics, IT, aerospace, and um, we are currently working on healthcare. I am Dr. Ebony Camille Chillis, the Interim Chief Innovation Officer, and I am also the Executive Director for Career and Technical Education. I am extremely proud of the relationship that we have with Guilford Apprenticeship Partners and Guilford County Schools through our work-based learning program. It is a program that looks to ensure that we are expanding a student's options around college and career readiness making sure that they are clearly advised of what they want to do in their futures around five key sectors that we seek to really expand so that we know that GAP is not just for a student who doesn't have direction. It is for those students who have direction, regardless if it's the pursuit of a two-year or four-year degree, they are also very confident in the industries in which they want to work in. Guilford County Schools, along with Guilford Apprenticeship Partners, are ensuring that we're preparing students for high skill, high wage, or in-demand careers. Through this partnership, our students are able to visualize what they can do and who they can become. As we seek to expand our partnership beyond just the five sectors we offer, it's for all students and all families to have a choice-filled life, not just today, but tomorrow and beyond. Hi, I'm Ann Flint, Youth Apprenticeship Coordinator at the Community Foundation of Greater Greensboro. I'm delighted to be here tonight to introduce to you three special young people who have volunteered to speak to you all about their experiences in their first year of being an apprentice. As with anything new, these apprentices have tremendous insight to share with our new apprentices. I'd like to introduce Josh Lyon from MSI, Edgar Rivera from MSI, as well as Alex Morales from Zilla Beg. Josh and Alex are in the advanced manufacturing track and Edgar is in IT. Hey guys, my name is Josh and I want to start by congratulating you guys on a job well done. For some of you, this might be your first job, so I have some advice I'd like to share with you. As an apprentice, you're going to be working on complex systems you've never seen before and it's going to be intimidating. But if the task given to you isn't difficult, that means someone didn't do enough to challenge you. If the task you're given seems impossible and you find yourself frustrated, remember that you have every resource you need. If you don't understand instructions or processes, just speak up. It's your job to ask questions. Remember, no one will ever be upset with you for not understanding an unfamiliar process. So step up and let your teammates know if you need help. I also want to state the fact that everything you do tells the world who you are. If you give it your all, it shows. If you slack off, it shows. Every time you clock in, it's your job to do something a little more efficiently today than you did yesterday. Your ability to take responsibility and hold yourself accountable for the work you do is going to determine the quality of the rest of your life. If you put your name on everything you do, not only does it give you the motivation to do a good job, but it lets the world know you are dependable. So, remember to take responsibility and you will be an outstanding member of any team you choose to participate in. Again, I want to congratulate you and I wish you all the best. Hello everyone, my name is Edgar Rivera. I'm a first year apprentice and uh, I'd like to start off by uh, Congratulating everybody for making it here. A few pieces of advice I'd say have helped me get into the point where I am right now. Um, I just say number one, always ask questions. Um, 
I've heard one mentor here say, the only question you don't ask is the stupid question. And that one really hit me because I was really hesitant to ask questions when I first started here because these people have been doing this for years, but I promise you that your job is to ask questions and their job is to answer those questions. So never be afraid to ask any questions. My second piece of advice for you guys would be communicate. Um, if you're having str struggles or you have questions, never be afraid to ask that question or speak up if you need help. Um, I grew up speaking Spanish, so I, it's really easy for me to communicate with a whole different group of people. So if I need help from people who speak Spanish or people who know English, it's just really easy for me to get that type of knowledge from everybody. And that leads me to my third piece of advice. Be a sponge. Soak up every piece of knowledge that people give you. Um, now, right then, it's just up to you to decide whether you want to keep that knowledge or dump it. First and foremost, I would like to congratulate each of you for this significant accomplishment. You and your family should be proud of your acceptance to such a great program. I am sure most of you would have enjoyed a live ceremony, but because of the circumstances, this will have to suffice. I would love to give you some advice that I believe will help you through your first year as an apprentice. You no longer have to worry about what's next. You made it past the hardest part. Your job now is to wake up every day prepared to learn and eager to better yourself. You no longer must worry about college tuition, finding a job, or what field of study to pursue. You are part of a group who can think creatively, innovatively, and critically. You will do great these next four years. You should not be afraid of making mistakes. If we allow failure to keep us from performing, we will never reach our true potential. I make mistakes every day, and sometimes it frustrates me, but at the end of the day, I can rest assured that I will progress. And I know there's always someone at my company, Zeal Beg, to help me. You will face many hardships during the years and make mistakes, but you must realize that sometimes the bad things that happen in our lives put us directly on the path to the best things that will ever happen to us. Failing will never be the problem. The problem comes when you give up and accept failure. I'd like to introduce to you Randy Gunter, who serves as a Dean of Industrial Construction and Transportation Technologies at Guilford Tech Technical Community College. He serves as the primary point of contact for the Guilford Apprenticeship Partners Program, advising students in their chosen career pathways, along with his normal dean duties. Mr. Gunter has worked in the community college system for over 22 years in various roles as instructor, program head, division chair, dean, and vice president of instruction. His experience includes years of service at Randolph Community College, Montgomery Community College, and Guilford Technical Community College. The various positions have allowed him to work with businesses and industries regarding training, needs, and apprenticeship programs. Randy? Apprentices, graduates, family members, Guilford Apprenticeship Partners, Guilford Technical Community College faculty and staff, city, county, and state leaders. Thank you for being a part of this celebration. We want you to know how much we appreciate your support of the students and the Guilford Apprenticeship Partners Program. Today we are celebrating. The first reason we are celebrating this group is for our new apprentices. Congratulations, future class of 2024. You have been chosen to be a part of a great group of people, apprentices, and companies. The companies that have chosen you have vision. They came together over five years ago with a common vision to fill the shortage of skilled workers in our manufacturing sector. This led to the formation of the Guilford Apprenticeship Partners Program. This group has grown to include tracks in automotive, IT, HVAC, supply chain logistics, and aviation. You are joining an elite group of companies and apprentices. Please tap into their knowledge that the older group of apprentices have attained on their journey. Please tap into the knowledge of your chosen companies and the mentors that work with you. This knowledge is invaluable and will help you on your journey to attain your educational and career goals. I challenge you to continue your education and work in your chosen profession. Believe me when I say the sky is the limit. 
you will have boundless opportunities throughout your career to complete education milestones and to reach for ever increasing roles of responsibility in your company or organizations. These industry partners chose you to be a part of their company and a part of their culture. I would say you have definitely made an impact and the companies are better for pursuing you as a person and pursuing you as an apprentice. We can't wait to see the impacts you will continue to make in your chosen profession. The second reason we are celebrating is as students, apprentices, graduates as people. All of you are on a journey through this thing we call life. Make the most of it. Enjoy your work and your chosen profession. But more importantly, enjoy your moments and truly be in the moment. Learn where you are and be prepared to make an impact. A good friend of mine was a youth pastor. His motto and challenge to his youth group was, you don't get to choose whether or not you make an impact. You only get to choose what kind of impact you make. Let me repeat that. You, you don't get to choose whether or not you make an impact. You only get to choose what kind of impact you make. What kind of impact are you making at work, at school, or college, and at home? We all come from various families, backgrounds, and support systems. We are a product of those around us and are made up of our family, our culture, and our circumstances. The beautiful thing about the apprenticeship program is the blending of what makes us unique. The apprenticeship program provides opportunities to make connections that transcend the workplace and a career. It goes to the levels of friendship, provides lasting relationships, and provides endless opportunities for you. Enjoy your journey. I wish success and the best for you and your work and your family. I'm Brian Norris with Business High Point Chamber of Commerce. It's my pleasure to begin uh, reading off of our apprentices as they come up and sign. Uh, they will come to the podium. They will grab their hats and sign and then move on um, past the table. First up, we have Adam Naquin. Adam has graduated from Piedmont Classical School and will be apprenticing at Barrico Heating and Air Conditioning in the service technician track. He loves playing guitar, watching rodeos, and going to the mountains. He dreams of going to Switzerland one day for a dream vacation. Congratulations. Next we have Garrett Stefanik. Garrett is a rising senior at Northern Guilford High School. He will be apprenticing at Brady Services in the service technician track. He loves soccer and his favorite team is Portugal. When he was a child, he wanted to be an archeologist. He dreams of going to Europe to look at the battlefields of both world wars. And one day he hopes to travel outside of this continent. Congratulations. Next, we have Zachary Carr. Zachary is a rising senior at Southwest Guilford High School. He shattered his femur while riding his dirt bike when he was 10 years old, and he also won the 2013 MX Ultra Series Cup Championship. He grew up wanting to be a professional motocross racer. He hopes to skydive and visit the Bahamas in the future. Zachary will be apprenticing at Bright Plastics. Congratulations. Next, we have Aaron Hunredo. Aaron is a rising senior at Ragsdale High School. He is a native of Arizona, enjoys playing the violin and golf, his favorite sport. He loves a good pizza, and he's a fan of the Los Angeles Lakers. Aaron will be apprenticing at Bright Plastics. Congratulations. Kristen Southern, is a recent graduate of Western Guilford High School. He is a twin, he has seven siblings, and is ridden on a helicopter. If he was in the circus, he states that he would walk the tightrope. He hopes to fly on an airplane soon and explore a lot of new places. Kristen will be apprenticing at Bright Plastics. Congratulations. Next is Wyatt Merica. Wyatt is a rising senior at Northeast Guilford High School, and he will be apprenticing at the City of High Point 
in the automotive track. He loves eating barbecue with slaw and watching the Astros play baseball. He loves to talk and fish. He says that the best thing that ever happened to him was becoming a Gap apprentice with the city of High Point. He dreams of one day visiting Yellowstone National Park. Congratulations. Next, we have Perry Sharp. Perry is a rising senior at Eastern Guilford High School, and he will be apprenticing at the City of High Point in the automotive track. He loves eating hamburgers and watching the Seattle Seahawks play football. He loves music and is an excellent piano player. According to Perry, the best thing that has ever happened to him was entering into the GAP apprenticeship program. And he dreams one day of vacationing to Hawaii. Congratulations. Next, we have Frederick Rodriguez. Frederick is a rising senior at High Point Central High School. He has performed in a school play, loves to fix things to see how they work, and has lived in the United States since he was nine years old. At one time, he wanted to program video games and be a singer. Frederick will be apprenticing at Environmental Air Systems. Congratulations. Next, we have Sam Colbert. Sam is a rising senior at High Point Central High School, and he will be apprenticing at Enduro Products in the advanced manufacturing track. He loves fried catfish, fishing, and the Carolina Hurricanes. Do you know that Sam was stung by a, por by a Portuguese man of war and lives to tell about it? He says that the best thing that has ever happened to him is his acceptance into the GAP program. He dreams of fishing one day in the Amazon River. Congratulations. Next we have Fidencio Martinez Villanueva. Fidencio graduated from the Academy at Central. and He will be apprenticing at Endura Products in the advanced manufacturing track. He loves watching soccer, especially Real Madrid. If he were to perform in the circus, he said he would love to be a shot, he'd love to be shot out of a cannon. He's a history buff who loves to listen to country music and his dream vacation is going to Fiji Beach. Congratulations. Quentin Gilbert is a recent graduate of High Point Central High School. His favorite sport is hockey, and he is a fan of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Quentin has played guitar for five years, drums for nine years, and loves to play computer games. He hopes one day to visit Vietnam and India. Quentin will be apprentic apprenticing at High Point Tire. Riley McGuire is a recent graduate of Cornerstone Charter School. His favorite sport is basketball, and his favorite team is the Duke Blue Devils. He has always wanted to own his own place. A big sneaker fan, his dream vacation is to New York. Shoes will come in handy with all the walking. Riley will be apprenticing at High Point Tire.
David Phillips is a recent graduate of Northwest Guilford High School. You'd be interested to learn that he hates clowns, has never attended a concert, and originally planned not to go to college. David's dream car is a 1970s Dodge Challenger, and he loves cookout bacon cheeseburgers. David will be apprenticing at Dilderton Dodge. Jasmine Hernandez graduated from Grimsley High School and she will be apprenticing at LC America Incorporated in the advanced manufacturing track. She has seven pets and likes to read and draw. When she was young, she wanted to be a veterinarian. She says that the best thing that has ever happened to her is being selected to enter the GAP program. She dreams of one day owning a Tesla. She will be apprenticing at LC America. Maria Martinez Martinez graduated from High Point Central High School and will be apprenticing at LC America Incorporated in the advanced manufacturing track. She loves to eat Mexican food and play soccer. As a young child, she wanted to become an actress. She dreams of one day traveling around the world. First, I'd like to introduce Tavion Gordon. Tavion is a rising senior at High Point Central High School. Tavion dreamed of becoming an aeronautical engineer when he was a kid and has always been interested in space. He enjoys soccer and football and his favorite food is sushi. He hopes to one day visit Haiti or Aruba. Tavion will be apprenticing at Mac Panel. Next, I'd like to introduce Reuben Hamby. Reuben is a rising senior at Northwest Guilford High School, and he'll be apprenticing at Mac Panel in the advanced manufacturing track. Reuben loves eating hamburgers and watching the Broncos play football. Do you know that Reuben has a twin brother and is really into robotics? He says that the best thing that has ever happened to him is joining his robotics team because it has brought him to love engineering. He dreams of vacationing in Hawaii. Don't we all, Ruben? <laughs> Thank you. Next, I'd like to introduce Zach Leach. Zach is a recent graduate of Southwest Guilford High School. He's a quick learner and is really into history. He's extremely proud to graduate high school. Zach hopes to own a 2020 BMW M5 and one day hopes to go to Africa. He will be apprenticing at Mac Panel. Next, I'd like to welcome Draven Pendergrass. He's a rising senior at the Middle College at UNCG. As a kid, Draven hoped to be an astronaut or a clown. Love that. He states that taking up weightlifting is one of the best things to happen to him and is a fan of the New York Yankees. Draven will be apprenticing at Mac Panel.
I would like to welcome Tyrus Martin. He is a rising senior at Grimsley High School and he'll be apprenticing at O'Neill Manufacturing. Tyrus is a hard worker who is, never gives up on a dream. He started at one Gap company this summer and now will be apprenticing at another Gap company. His eagerness and determination to enter the Gap program allowed him the chance to be chosen by O'Neill Manufacturing as their first Gap apprentice. We're delighted that Tyrus will be a member of the Gap family. Okay, I'd like to introduce Gavin Ellison, who's a rising senior at Northeast Guilford High School and will be apprenticing with Tardigrade Technology in the Information Technology track. He loves to eat any food that is Mexican or Tex-Mex, and he enjoys playing lacrosse. He has been interested in computers since he was three years old. He feels lucky to have been born in the 21st century. Gavin hopes to be able to one day experience zero gravity. Very cool, congratulations. I'd like to introduce Jaden Layton, who graduated from Southeast Guilford High School and will be apprenticing with Van York in the automotive track. If Jaden were to join the circus, he would like to ride a motorcycle in the giant cage. That's awesome. It is. He hunts, he fishes, and he rides dirt bikes. He says that the best thing to have ever happened to him was to be selected by Van York for the GAP apprenticeship program. He dreams of one day visiting Alaska. Congratulations. Okay, I'd like to welcome Josh Baxley. He's a recent graduate of Southwest Guilford High School. Josh is thankful for his loving and supportive family. He loves nature and is a good cook. He particularly enjoys quesadillas. Joshua hopes to tour Europe in the future and he will be apprenticing at Zilla Beg. Next, I'd like to welcome Rowan Todd, who graduated from Grimsley Senior High School, and he will be apprenticing at Zilla Beg in the supply chain and logistics track. He loves eating pizza and watching Liverpool play soccer. If Rowan were to join the circus, he would be the lion tamer. He says that the best thing that has ever happened to him was moving to America with his family. He dreams of one day purchasing a Tesla Model X. Congratulations. I'd like to welcome Abraham Hernandez Encerrado, who graduated from Northeast Guilford High School and will be apprenticing at Zilla Beg in the advanced manufacturing track. He loves eating chicken pot pie and watching the Real Madrid play soccer. If he were to be part of the circus, he would be a knife thrower. <laughs> he is an animal enthusiast who always thought he would be a veterinarian. He says that his family is the best thing that has ever happened to him because they helped to support him emotionally and help motivate him. He dreams of one day having the opportunity to explore Australia. I'd like to introduce Misha Balambeo, who's a recent graduate of Northwest Guilford School. 
Her favorite sport is soccer, and she enjoys routing for Leicester of the English Premier League. Sweden is her dream vacation destination. Misha loves sushi and has lived a large portion of her life on the West Coast. Misha will be apprenticing at Machine Specialties, Inc. Congratulations. Kalen Barton is a rising senior at Southeast Guilford High School. His favorite food is cookies, though he once had a funny experience burning them in a microwave. Several things you'd be surprised to know about him. He is terrible with directions. He is a big consumer of water, drinking so many bottles he has a trash can specifically for them. Kalen will be apprenticing at Machine Specialties, Inc. Kevin Bush is a recent graduate of Southwest Guilford High School. You may be surprised to know that Kevin plays piano, likes cars, and can speak a little bit of Spanish. His dream car is an Audi R8, and he is a big fan of the Boston Celtics. Kevin will be apprenticing at Machine Specialties. James Early is a rising senior at Eastern Guilford High School. Several surprising facts about James are that he is part of a team that discovers new prime numbers, collects antique pieces of technology, and love light bulbs. James's favorite food is lobster, and he is a hockey fan. James will be apprenticing at Machine Specialties Inc. Car Folds is a rising senior at Grimsley High School. A few things to know about Car: He would collect any historical item if he could, he likes taking pictures of nature, and he saves money really well. Joining the Junior ROTC is one of the best things that has ever happened to him. Car will be apprenticing at Machine Specialties, Inc. Michael Hernandez is a rising senior at Ragsdale High School. He loves spaghetti and playing basketball. Michael's dream car is a Nissan R32, and he hopes to one day go to New York. He is tremendously excited to be a part of GAP. 
Michael will be apprenticing at Machine Specialties, Inc. Selena Hicks graduated from Southern Guilford High School and will be apprenticing at Machine Specialties, Inc. in the advanced manufacturing track. She loves eating sirloin steak and watching UNC play basketball. She plays basketball and has three sisters, although she is the youngest in her family. She dreams of one day vacationing in Jamaica. Owen Jacobs is a rising senior at Northern Guilford High School and he will be apprenticing at Machine Specialties Inc. in the information technology track. He loves eating roast chicken and asparagus. If he were to join the circus, he would be a clown. He loves listening to the song Never Gonna Give You Up. He says the best thing that has ever happened to him was getting his first computer. He dreams of visiting someplace tropical. Hayden Leak graduated from Northwest Guilford High School and he will be apprenticing at Machine Specialties Inc. in the advanced manufacturing track. He loves to eat pizza and watch the Packers play football. He loves to play video games and disc golf. He dreams of going back to visit Germany. Kawana Pemberton is a rising senior at Dudley High School. She has always wanted to drive a boat and hopes to soon. And her dream vacation is Aruba. She believes that if she were in the circus, she would be a juggler. Her favorite sports are track and football. She is a big LSU Tigers fan. Kawana will be apprenticing at Machine Specialties, Inc. Ariana Nance is a recent graduate of Northeast Guilford High School. She states that getting accepted into GAP is the best thing that has ever happened to her. Ariana loves snakes and enjoys roller skating. If she had to perform in the circus, she would be an animal tamer. Ariana will be apprenticing at Machine Specialties Inc. Charles Sims is a rising senior at Northeast Guilford High School. He will be apprenticing at Machine Specialties, Inc. in the advanced manufacturing track. He loves to eat sushi and watch the Seattle Seahawks play football. If he were to join the circus, 
he would most certainly be a clown. He says that the best thing to ever happen to him is meeting his girlfriend, who he has been dating for four years. He dreams of one day visiting Iceland. Mason Robertson graduated from high school in Alamance County. He found his way to the GAP program and will be apprenticing at Machine Specialties Inc. in the advanced manufacturing track. He is a quick study who is quietly deceptive. He is very excited to be part of the Machine Specialties family and has a bright future ahead of him. Kayla Martin is a rising senior at Dudley High School. Her favorite sport is track, and she is eager to break her personal time in the 800 meter. She plays the saxophone and was once a flyer for cheer. If she were in the circus, Kayla believes she would be an acrobat. Kayla will be apprenticing at Machine Specialties Inc. Daniel Page graduated from the early college at GTCC, and he will be apprenticing at Machine Specialties Inc. in the advanced manufacturing track. If he were to join the circus, he would be a lion tamer. He loves anime, writes comedy, and is an Eagle Scout. As a child, he wanted to be a voice actor, and he dreams of going to Miami for spring break. Najea Pitts is a rising senior at Dudley High School. She will be apprenticing at Machine Specialties Inc. in the advanced manufacturing track. She loves eating burgers and watching the Warriors play basketball. She has a killer smile, thinks outside the box, and is very transparent. She always thought she would be a teacher, and she feels very blessed by God for all that she has. She dreams of one day visiting Paris, France. Next we have Luke Agin. Luke is a rising senior at Northern Guilford High School. His bucket list goals include going skydiving as well as skiing and hiking in Switzerland. He enjoys basketball and is a fan of the Chicago Bulls. His dream car is an Audi. Luke will be apprenticing at Machine Specialties Incorporated. Congratulations. Next, we have Stephen Friel. Stephen is a recent graduate of Northeast Gilbert High School. He hopes to one day vacation in Hawaii. He's a soccer fan and roots for Manchester United in the English Premier League. He loves to fish and one time caught a 12 pound blue catfish. Wow. Stephen will be apprenticing at Blue Ridge Companies.
Congratulations. <laughs> Next, we have Ian Bartz. Ian is a recent graduate of Wesleyan Christian Academy. He enjoys playing ultimate frisbee, and his favorite food is pizza. Interesting fact, his brother-in-law is knighted. If Ian was in the circus, he states that he would be a clown. Ian will be apprenticing at Mac Panel. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Nancy Vaughn, Mayor of Greensboro, and it is my pleasure to be here with you tonight. I wish I could be here in person as we've done the last few years. This is one of the most exciting things that I get to do, to be here with the students and their families as they get to sign on and start a new career. This is such an exciting thing to do, these apprenticeship programs, because we know it is going to start the trajectory of your lives. I want to say congratulations as you start a new skill set and start the beginning of your lives. I am so pleased that you get to do this. Congratulations. I'm Jay Wagner, Mayor of High Point, and it is my honor to congratulate a group of young men and women who today are launching an exciting journey as apprentices. What a tremendous opportunity to start your career. During past years, I had the honor, along with my colleague, Mayor Vaughn of Greensboro, to shake hands and congratulate GAP signees. Though we are not in person, this moment is no less momentous. So congratulations. GAP's participating companies and apprentices are transforming our economy and working to grow key industry in High Point and throughout this county. Hi, I'm Brent Christensen with the Greensboro Chamber of Commerce. First of all, let me say, I think what most of us have said, and that is we're really sorry uh, that we can't do this in person. Uh, it is one of my favorite events of the year, this signing ceremony, because you get to look out on the, on the room and see incredible talent, incredible potential, um, just incredible young men and women and their families as well. Uh, the people who have helped make them and mold them over all these years and watching them take an incredible step to ensure their future. You are taking a step this evening to ensure that you're gonna get a great education, learn incredibly valuable skills, and at the end of the day, walk into an incredible job for your future, for our community's future. We're awfully proud of you. We wish we could be there in person, but again, congratulations. We look forward to watching you grow and become an incredible employed member of our community. Hi, I'm Patrick Chapin, President and CEO of Business High Point Chamber of Commerce. Our organization is proud to help lead Guilford Apprenticeship Partners. It is one of our highlights to help advance GAP and to see the rapid growth as companies and students are casting a new exciting future here in High Point, Greensboro, and Guilford County through apprenticeships. Congratulations to each of the apprentices and their families today. What a tremendous accomplishment. You have such a bright future ahead. Good luck. Hello, I'm Walker Sanders and I'm president of the Community Foundation of Greater Greensboro. Congratulations to all the signers. This is an exciting signing ceremony for all of you. Uh, being part of the Guilford Apprenticeship Program is one of the flagship programs in Guilford County looking at the future needs of our workforce. That is one of our top priorities as a community, making sure that we have a competitive workforce. Thank you for being part of that vision and best of luck to you in this program. Good evening, everyone. How are we doing? My name is Todd Poteet. I'm the VP of Manufacturing with Bright Plastics. We're one of the founding members of GAP and I serve as chairman of the group. So congratulations to our new apprentices. We can't wait to see where you go. GAP is excited you're on our team. I guess for me, I consider these nine uh, young adults here uh, graduates to be special. I consider them to be visionaries. They're pioneers uh, for the program. Five years ago, all we had to offer was an idea and a plan. Uh, they believed in that plan, helped make it happen, and for that reason, they will always be special. So thank you guys. Um, 
I'd like to introduce two particular graduates I'd like to speak to you tonight. The first being uh, Philip Fuller, and then after he's done, Garrison Weevil will step up. So, Philip. All right. Um, good evening, everybody. I'm Philip Fuller, one of the first apprentices to come through Bright, Price, Bright Plastics. Um, I just want to thank everybody, you know, making this happen, especially, you know, Todd. First day I met him, I told him my plan. He told me his plan, and we worked together four years. Here we go. Um, this is really special for all of us, of course. Just, I have one thing, because I don't write speeches. Don't. I'm not real good at that. Um, my big thing, especially working at Bright, working in manufacturing, is always assess your what you're doing, okay? So when you go to a machine, you always gotta assess your problem. Figure out what you're gonna do and what's gonna be the output of what you're doing. So my main objective goal for this little spill is always assess what you do in life. Manage your input to see what your output is, okay? Four years ago, we didn't know what the output was gonna be. We didn't know what was going to come with this four years. We were the guinea pig, so to say. Well, it's been pretty good. We've all had to fight real hard. I know I have. Working at Bright, you know, coming in as a 16-year-old, having to work with all these older guys that didn't really respect what I was doing and just what my vision was. And I fought through it, put in my input, hard work, time, and the output's been good. So now I have the opportunity to meet a lot of new people, gather a good group of friends, and now we're here. And there's many more things to come. Thank you. All right. I'm a little shorter than Philip. I gotta bring my mic down. So I would like to welcome everyone here to the first ever Guilford Apprenticeship Graduation Ceremony. My name is Garrison Weevil and I proudly work for Machine Specialties Incorporated and I am a CNC machinist but I specialize in CNC milling thanks to the GAP program. First I would like to point out and thank all of our special guests for being here tonight. We really appreciate it. The last four years have been some of the greatest experiences I've ever had in my life. It started over, over a little four years ago I have made so many great relationships and because of this I've gained a new knowledge and I'm now a skilled machinist. Thanks MSI and some of those relationships I have grown as a person tremendously. I have learned so much in my life and my career I may not have the time to tell you tonight but just know that it is true. Without people like my parents, Tammy and Rob Simmons, Tripp Cook, Seth Motzinger, Lenny Myers and the other eight young gentlemen in front of me. I would not be where I am today. To speak on myself and the other eight young gentlemen in front of me, uh, I consider us brothers. We started as 14 strong, a few had some issues along the way. We are now finishing nine incredibly strong and we have, we have and we will continue to make a major impact in our companies and the community. One of the best experiences I've had within my apprenticeship program is definitely by far the, the trip that me and Tammy took to Washington, D.C. This is where I had the privilege to speak in front of Congress about the apprenticeships in an effort to promote what we've had going on here over the last four years. I will never forget about it, and I hope that one day that can be a story that I tell my grandkids. Another great experience I would have to talk about real quick is the family bond that we've created. You know, I started working here with two of my mentors, Tripp and Seth, and right from the beginning, it was definitely like a big brother and little brother relationship. We, always, we will always have that relationship, just like my brothers in front of us. We will always have each other's backs for the rest of our lives. In closing, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has played a part in this opportunity and emphasize that I know I am truly blessed beyond belief. I wish my brothers the best possible future. You have been granted the great, greatest possibility, the greatest start possibility. So thank you. Thank you, Philip and Garrison. Appreciate that. It was very good. So 
It's my distinct pleasure to introduce our keynote for this evening, Donna Newton. Through her vision, tenacity, collaborative spirit, constant drive, Guilford Apprenticeship Partners was forged. Through her shepherding, GAP's formation with industry and community leaders, its scalable model of growth and integration to our local educational system, GAP simply would not exist. For this, Donna received the 2019 Vision Award from GAP, the 2018 Stanley Frank Leadership Award from the Greensboro Chamber for her remarkable role in this initiative. Before retiring in 2019, Ms. Newton was the Director of Workforce Initiatives for the Community Foundation of Greater Greensboro. Previous nonprofit roles included Director of Housing Our Community, Director of the Guilford Nonprofit Consortium, Building Stronger Neighborhoods Liaison, and Advisor to the Greensboro Neighborhood Congress, as well as nonprofit consulting. Sounds like she's been busy. So additionally, Donna worked 30 years as a business executive, lastly as a senior vice president with Jefferson Pilot Life Insurance Company. Donna is an honors graduate and distinguished alumnus of Guilford College. She serves and has served on a number of nonprofit and government boards, including board member of the Guilford County Workforce Development Board, NC Apprenticeship Council, Triad Area Lead, member of the Guilford County Schools, Career and Technical Education Advisory Board, member of the Steering Committee for Triad Talent Alignment, founder and member of the Triad Workforce Solutions Collaborative. I'd like to welcome Donna Newton. So I'm gonna do my best not to become emotional, but I brought Kleenex in case I do. <laughs> uh, thank you, Todd, and that was a very generous uh, introduction. I have to just say, wow, 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 as I look out over you today. Uh, it's hard for me to digest um, that just five years ago, you were entering a major new initiative. And you were, going to, you were going to set the stage for the future of so many young people and businesses throughout our community and ultimately across the state and beyond. Because of you, those of you who are graduating today, along with your business sponsors and the serious and professional way you manage the new and risky venture, it has been a huge success, to say the least. You set the stage and you established the benchmark. Then you worked in support of the future classes to assure their success. Yay for you. GAP started with only four companies, ABCO, Bright Plastics, MSI, and TE. We must thank them. They invested in you because they were insightful enough to envision the future once you had gained additional skills and, ex and ex expanded education. They knew that with hands-on experience and advanced education, their investment of you would definitely pay off. That investment and success has led to us currently having 34 employer partners. Imagine that. We started with four just five years ago, and now we have 34 employers who believe in this apprenticeship program. In the beginning, we were offered, we, GAP, offered advanced manufacturing as a track, and GAP has since expanded to include service technicians, HVAC, IT and cybersecurity, automated supply chain, and logistics, and plan to add diesel mechanics, health care, and financial technology. Yes, that first year we had 14 that began the program, and nine of you are here today having fulfilled the challenge. Can you believe we now have 185 apprentices currently in GAP? As apprentices, you have earned our respect. You have acquired valuable skills, college degrees, journey person certificates, mentors, friends, maturity, personal skills, and great jobs with great companies. 
your employers have broadened and redefined their access to talent and have created succession pipelines to secure their workforce. They have also strengthened employee interests by offering seasoned staff the opportunity to work with and support the apprentices. You and the employers have created a model that is being lifted up in the school system with parents, with students, and in businesses across the community. So what's next for you? There is no limit. There's no limit for all of you or for the apprentices who come after you. Your employers are investing in you as leaders of tomorrow. You are leaders today and you will continue to grow as leaders in the future in spades. I have to claim GAP as a shared legacy. I'm proud to claim it as a shared legacy certainly with you and with the GAP employer partners, with my previous employer, the Community Foundation of Greater Greensboro, with GTCC, and with the Greensboro and High Point Chambers, and with the Guilford County School System. It took us all, and we're seeing the benefits of our efforts with you here today. I just want to thank you for inviting me to join your milestone event. I am so proud of each and every one of you. Go forth and continue to be exceptional. Thank you. for now what you guys are really waiting for the graduation part so we're tremendously excited to reach a milestone that five years ago was held as a goal to achieve it's an honor to sign and help train so many of the 185 apprentices in the program but we now reach a time where our team is just so proud of it to recognize and officially graduate our first ever class of apprentices these young men through dedication hours of commitment honing of skills learning and learning and learning so much more have reached a pinnacle that places them in elite status, a graduate of registered youth apprenticeship program. They have completed a minimum of 1,600 hours of on the job and classroom training and have received their associate's degree from GTCC. They will be conferred as a journeyman, a remarkable designation through the U.S. Department of Labor. Boy, the sky truly is the limit for you guys uh, and where they head. You're going to have tremendous impact to ABCO, Bright, MSI, TE, and all the other members of GAP going forward. We are honored to call them up and congratulate them on this accomplishment. I'm going to turn it over to Ann for a few minutes. So as I call your name, please come forward with your um, company representative. And we'll begin from ABCO Automation. It's our privilege to recognize Henry I hope I say it right, Henry Teodosi. It's a very special time for us in that um, we're celebrating the graduation of uh, Henry Teodosio um, as our first graduate from the apprentice program. Henry has done a fantastic job. It's been fun for us to watch him learn and grow and watch him earn the respect of his fellow employees. And uh, it's, it's just been a, a great thing. So we're, we're excited for Henry and we on behalf of all the employee owners of ABCO, we say congratulations. Please come, please come forward. Henry came to ABCO as an extremely shy young man, so much so his mentors didn't know if he could talk. Eventually, each mentor got to know Henry and really enjoyed seeing him come to work on time and will do his job and learn each day and every day with his contagious and amazing smile which he always has on his face no matter how bad the day may be. Today, Henry is part of the team. He has lots of self-confidence, talks and socializes with his fellow employees and mentors. He produces like the rest of the team. Congratulations, Henry. ABCO is very proud of the young man that has grown to a man. He is well on his way to mastering his field of study and occupation. 
Now that Henry's completing four years as an apprenticeship, he cons should consider what his next step is. Where will he be in five years? We at ABCO just can't wait to see. Looking forward to our future with Henry. ABCO hopes to have you as part of our team for many years. Good job. Okay, it's my pleasure to bring up Philip Fuller. Philip, congratulations. We've watched you grow from a, a high school boy coming out of school to a nice young man. Hi, Philip. I'm so proud of you. You're a great role model for all three of the pre apprentices. You've got a great head on your shoulders and you just know the right way to go. Our success is largely due to your success. Philip is a 2017 graduate of High Point Central High School. Outside of work, Philip loves to mentor younger kids by coaching baseball in his spare time. Philip is now the first shift process technician for Bright Plastics. Philip has many mentors who appreciate and respect all his hard work. In addition, Philip has taken on a mentor role himself to this year's pre apprentices at Bright, who look for his guidance as their mentor and a friend, which is reflected in the recorded video messages. Congratulations, Philip. Jonathan A, please come forward. Jonathan A is a 2016 graduate of Northern Guilford High School. He enjoys racing and working on his race car with his dad, and he placed nationally in Skills USA in high school. He has excelled during his apprenticeship here at MSI as a CNC machine, machinist specializing in CNC turning. Ethan Alcorn, Jacques' mentor, has played a big role in his success. Congratulations, Jacques. It's my pleasure to welcome up Hunter Bound. He's a 2017 graduate of Northern Guilford High School. He enjoys riding ATVs, side-by-sides, and spending a lot of time with Sydney, the love of his life. Hunter has excelled during his apprenticeship as a maintenance mechanic, specializing in machine tool repair. Wesley Adkins, Hunter's mentor, has been like a second dad to him throughout his apprenticeship. Hey, Hunter. Good job, Hunter. Chris Brucher is a 2017 graduate of Eastern Guilford High School. He enjoys adding accessories to his truck. Man, it is nice. He has excelled during his apprenticeship here at MSI as a CNC machinist, specializing in the state-of-the-art CNC mill and turn centers and electrical discharge machines. Matt Goins and Ethan Alcorn have been great influences on Chris as mentors. Congratulations, Chris. It's my pleasure to welcome Jesse Puente. Jesse is a 2016 graduate of High Point Central High School. He enjoys playing games on the computer. He has excelled during the apprenticeship here at MSI as a metrologist specializing in quality aspects on the government level and ensuring that operators are making precision parts as they are manufacturing them. Congratulations, Jesse. Jackie Smith III. Jackie Smith III is a 2017 graduate of Eastern Guilford High School. He and Remington have fun on a regular basis, especially when they're hunting. He has excelled during his apprenticeship here at MSI as a CNC machinist, specializing in CNC cylindrical grinding. Eli Hunt, Jackie's mentor, has been a great, has been a great impression on him. Congratulations, Jackie. It's my pleasure to welcome Garrison Weevil. He's a 2017 graduate of Southeast Guilford High School. He loves spending time with his family at the lake. Garrison has excelled during his apprenticeship here at MSI as a CNC machinist, specializing in CNC milling, and gives a lot of credit to the success to the mentors Trip Cook and Seth Monsinger. Congratulations, Garrison. I'd well, like to welcome Dylan Chadwick from TE Connectivity to come forward. Dylan, congratulations on completing your apprenticeship. Uh, we're really excited here at TE to have you as a part of the team. Glad to see you've uh, 
completed your apprenticeship program. It's been a long journey for you, I know. Four years is a long time. So we want to thank Dylan for um, joining the apprenticeship program and for all of his hard work for the past four years and his efforts. Dylan, I just want to say uh, thank you for choosing this uh, opportunity to come through the GAP apprenticeship program. Uh, I think you'll be a good fit here at TE. With your knowledge and your skill and your great attitude, you'll be a heck of an asset for TE in the coming years. Congratulations, good luck. It's our privilege to recognize him. Dylan Chadwick graduated from the Early College at Guilford in 2016, at which time he entered the GAP apprenticeship program at TE Connectivity for the mold maker trade. He's very much appreciative of his trainer and mentor, Tom Kodas, whom he thanks for helping him work his way through the program. Outside of work, Dylan enjoys all types of gardening. Congratulations, Dylan. Now I'd like to take the opportunity to talk a little bit about GAP's future, just really quickly. Guilford Apprenticeship Partners has come a long way in a lot, the last five years. Starting from the four original companies in 2016, and now in 2020, we have over 30 companies actively engaged in the apprenticeship cycle. Our 30 plus companies work together to set up guidelines, curriculum, recruitment, orientation, marketing, training programs, you name it, they do it. All in the spirit of building a pipeline of workers for our county's workforce, looking to the future. It is so exciting to see the growth of Guilford Apprenticeship Partners and keep our eye towards the future. GAP's offerings continue to expand, originally launching with our advanced manufacturing on to include automotive, service techno technicians, IT cybersecurity, and supply chain logistics. We're now looking to add healthcare, diesel mechanics, and poss possibly financial services in the coming years, all areas that we know are in need. GAP is intentional about diversity and inclusion across race, gender, and socioeconomic status. We are proud to have participants who respect and promote these values. This year, we offer pre-apprenticeship positions to our more, most diverse cohort yet, with 20% female apprentices and more than 45% of the group representing diverse communities. Something to really celebrate about. We are proud of the hard work of the group, along with our relationship with the school system, the community college system, the employers, the mentors, the parents, the students, the community foundation, our Greensboro and High Point Chambers. It's truly been a collective group effort. This GAP movement has helped leverage a new countywide effort, 60 by 30, that you soon hear about. As we look to the future, we see only bright lights shining at our way as we continue our efforts to expand our offerings to more and more young people in Guilford County. I'm proud and very excited to be a small part of GAP. The future of our apprenticeship apprentices are, is bright, but the future of GAP is even brighter. Congratulations, inaugural class of Guilford Apprenticeship Partners. Way to go. It takes courage and drive to be first. You did, and each of you have a ton to be proud of. On another note, I wish to personally congratulate Jesse Puente and Philip Fuller, High Point Central graduates. We are proud of you. Congratulations to the eight graduating apprentices. Tremendous accomplishment. Your community is so proud of you. I would like to especially congratulate Jacques Benet of Northern Guilford High School, Chris Brutcher, of Eastern Guilford High School, Hunter Brown of Northern Guilford High School, Dylan Chadwick of Guilford Early College, Jackie Smith of Eastern Guilford High School. Congratulations and a job well done. I'd like to say congratulations to our nine graduates of the Guilford Apprenticeship Program. You all are our pioneers. You're the first in Guilford County to do this. We couldn't be prouder of your success and we really look forward to watching you in the future. Go get them. What a monumental accomplishment. Just think, you are the first ever youth apprentices to graduate from a youth apprenticeship program in the triad. 
You nine were pioneers. Your hard work and faith in this program has truly made this a successful initiative. Congratulations for getting through one of the most important programs around workforce development, the Guilford Apprenticeship Program. We are very proud of what you've accomplished. Congratulations and best of luck to you and your careers.